Welcome. In front of me is a CMF Phone 1 and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your Do Not Disturb mode. So, to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Then on one of the pages you will find the Do Not Disturb toggle. For me it is right over here. Once you see it, first time around, hold it. This will quickly take you to the settings. In here you can go over them, customize them to fit your exact needs, and from there, once everything is set, you can close this and you don't have to ever come back here again. Now, I do want to point out a couple options right here that might be uh, overlooked. So uh, we have the duration for quick settings. This defines what happens when you press on a toggle manually. Um, and by default it is set to run until you turn it off, which is not a very good option in my opinion. I personally like to select it on a timer, and make it something like four hours so it covers whatever i would need it for plus maybe a little bit of time extra and uh, if i remember it i can turn it off before that timer runs out but if i forget about it i don't need to i don't have like worry that oh no i forgot it it's been running for a week or something like that and uh, obviously changing everything like the, how calls go through and stuff like that so that's what I like to do. And obviously for everyone else that, uh, that doesn't really want to mess around with the toggle itself, you can go into the schedule and select a fully automatic schedule, day of the week, start and end time. And if you're planning to use one, just make sure it's toggled in here and that's all you would need to do. The device from now on will be turning it on and off at a provided day of the week and time. Anyway, once everything is set, let's find the toggle again. And now we just click on it to turn it on. Now this is for the manual usage obviously, the um, schedule one you don't need to toggle on anything apart from that check mark in the schedule settings. Now for manual usage, uh, like I said, once you're done using it you can turn it off by tapping on a toggle once again, but if you also enable the timer like I did, you don't need to worry too much about it as it will turn off after the specified amount of hours. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.